Hello farmers, we are now into week, we have now entered into week 5 of the broilers and we have taken what is known as sampling. This is what I was saying that we should, what you, a person should do as a farmer. You go and you pick 10 chickens randomly. But what we then did is that we looked at probably 10 big ones, 10 medium ones and 10 small ones to get a good average weight of your chickens. So the first 10 that we did take, the big ones that we got, we averaged those 10 and we got about 1.8 kgs. So they have now arrived at 1.8 kgs live weight. So if we were to slaughter them, I think they would come down to about 1.5 kgs after we have slaughtered weight. Then we also then went and we did what was known as the second sample that we took came at about 1.6. Of the next 10 batch and the smallest that we then took had an average of 1.4 so this is the scale that we used here that we used to make sure that we scaled the chickens and it's a 300 kg scale that we used after we scaled them we then went and we did the averages so we're right now sitting at about 1.4 1.5 kgs per bird so this means that actually by week five before even we get into end of week five they are actually able to be slaughtered but we um we are actually looking at an average weight of about 1.1.8 1 1.9 um dressed weight after we have um, slaughtered them so we're just going to leave them here for a bit longer until they get to those weights we, what does this mean it means that actually broilers grow fast if you actually do the correct thing as I said, also this needs a person who really understands how to take care of them and to make sure that from day one that they have enough water, they have enough food, they are always warm. And now it's a matter of making sure that they, the aeration in the place that they are staying, they are well aerated and they've got enough food, water at all time and that they're actually consuming. That is very, very important. In the evening in here, it will be lit up so that they do not stop eating. These things are there to make sure that they consume. So make sure that even in the evening they are consuming. They are not just sleeping and then waiting until it becomes sunrise to start eating. These are having broilers. So you just need to make sure that you well fed them. You make sure that they've got enough water. Um, they've got enough everything that they just need to be well fed and well maintained at all times for them to grow faster. So... This is week, we're now entering week five of these broilers. And we will tell you, we will show you when we get to about week, end of week five. And then by end of week five, I will then be bringing in the next batch um, of broilers. So by the time I come and show you the next video, I will also be showing you the next batch of um, broilers. As I said, I will be only doing 100 broilers batches at a time. I'm also going to be, this is just something that is in the long pipeline. I'm also planning to do some layers. I'm also planning to do some roadrunner chickens. Those are the other things, my other projects, which I'll be adding to this one project. Yeah, so this is just an update about the chickens. Thank you very much and have a good day. And thank you very much for those who are liking and subscribing. And please keep on subscribing to the channel. As I said, we're just doing it the simple way. Nothing complicated, nothing super. This is anyone can do this. This is not something that is very difficult to do. As you can see, there's nothing. There's no special gadgets or anything for this broilers. It is all very simple. Anyone can do this, just have to have the time and the will to want to do this. Thank you very much and have a good day.